Hey guys, Jared Wehongi here. Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about stalemate positions and how to break stalemate, okay? Now, there are honestly a myriad of techniques I could utilize for breaking stalemate, but those that know how I like to teach, I like to keep things very finite. I like to give you a very small number of things to choose from so we don't fall into the Hicks law where the more options I have, the less likely I'm gonna use any of them. So a couple of couple few just good solid techniques. Let's take a look at a couple of them. Now, when we talk, at, talk about stalemate, this is a position that happens most often from the inside line, which is why in the Pekiti Tusha um, Kali art, we focus a lot on outside line because I can, I can counterattack less contended, meaning if I'm here and he attacks me and I get to the outside of his arm, I can, it's harder for him to defend himself and grab onto my arm when I'm on the outside line. There are situations, because you can't always dictate position, where I will be on the inside line, meaning I'm on the other side of his arm, right? I'm on the inside of his arm. And if I've been able to get into clinch range and control that, maybe now I'm looking to, to get my knife out, or maybe I already had it and I was able to just kind of get into a position where I've got a control of his arm, right? So um, these things can happen um, just based on how clinches plan, uh, pan out. You can't always um, dictate how things are gonna happen. When I'm in a position where I'm on the inside line, now I'm on the inside of the articulation of his arm, right? So his arm can bend in. So it's a it's not the ideal position, so I need to mitigate the amount of damage I'm gonna receive here. There's a chance that I'm gonna get take some damage, right? Um, I wanna avoid and mitigate that. The higher I get on his arm, the more freedom of movement he's gonna have. So if I'm all the way up on his shoulder here, on this overhook, again, he's gonna be able to get some stabs in there. So rather than getting too high, I wanna avoid underhooks altogether if he's got a knife in his hand because it's really hard here to control, and he can bring that up to my neck, right? There's nothing that's stopping him from bringing that up there. So rather than, now if I, if I was just stuck in this position, I can go lower on his arm and, and maybe put some pressure there and straighten it out and buy myself a small window, but it's still not optimal because if he's really resisting and he's strong there, he's probably gonna be able to bend that arm and get some cuts to my neck, okay? So I wanna get over typically or two on one and then looking at freeing one hand to draw my weapon or if I already had the weapon in my hand, it might be just one on one, okay? A wrist grab or getting into an overhook somewhere higher on his arm. If I'm up closer to his elbow, I might be able to cut. I'm basically doing a, like a guillotine move, movement here. I'm cutting upward and straightening his arm as much as I can. And that will like, mitigate how much he can stab me here, right? He might be able to get some contact, but it's gonna help to mitigate that. I might even get lower on his arm to what is often called a monkey trap position, where I get into closer to his fist. And now put your hand up, please. Okay. So I've got a good grip on there, and the lower I get there, I'm a little further away, so he may be able to strike with that hand or whatnot, but I've got better control of that knife. Okay, so um, I want to control that, right? If I'm if I'm here, maybe I already have my weapon in my hand, maybe not. But now he grabs onto that. Okay. Now if I wanted to mitigate that happening, then I'm going to drop drop and draw. So here, boom, grab, draw my uh, drop down and and drive my face into my head into his um, his face, and then draw my weapon. If I already had my weapon, it's just drop and drive, drop, drive, boom, and then engage. And um, from there, I might be able to do this without falling into stalemate. If we're in stalemate here, he grabs my hand, and now I'm gonna look at two techniques. He's either got my hand high or low, or somewhere in the middle where I could do either technique. If my hand is high here, and he's pushing backwards like this, okay, then I might look at doing a duck under. So if you look at my footwork, I'm gonna do a triangle step, switch here, and I'm squatting and getting under here, I'm raising my elbow, pushing down, drawing everything up, and stabbing. If I do this wrong, my duck under wrong, I could put myself into a guillotine, something like that. If I, if I bend at the waist here, and he might grab me like that, okay. he does that, he's gonna stab, but I'm putting myself into a bad position, okay? So I wanna keep my, hip, my air to him, drop my hips, get them under, under me, footwork here, drive towards him as I push down on my wrist, and start to engage, okay? If he's a little lower now, he's pushing my wrist down, now it's gonna be harder to do that duck under. So I'm gonna use a shin strip. Same side leg, 
bring that knee up, push my hip forward. Again, opposing forces, pulling my elbow up and driving my shin down. Okay? Driving my shin down by pushing my hips forward. Push my hips forward, boom, and then get some shots in before he gets a chance to grab that again. Okay? There's a third stalemate breaking technique that I like to do sometimes where I'm going to get a double wrist tie up. Okay? So here I'm basically going to look at exploiting the weak part of his grip right there. So if I push here, okay, it's going to be easier to break his grip or cycle here and push down. Right? So one more time. Okay? So I'm going to basically do that from this position. So I'm here. I bring my hand here to make sure I don't stab myself in the hand. Okay? Push down and then pull up on his hand and look at some targets that are available there. So those are some ideas for breaking stalemate that you can look at when you get into that clinch position. Train those. If you want more information, more of this type of stuff, go to tricomtraining.com for our more combative focus and piketty.university for those that are really interested in a deep dive into the Filipino martial arts. Give that a try. Thank you.